Okay, hello, hello everybody. Let's see, I make sure we're squeaky chairs in place and that Bram is hiding behind the camera. Who knows, one of these days I may film myself actually painting instead of just my hand. Right? Used to my hand on here, but not me. So I don't I don't have a lot to paint tonight, but I'm trying something out and I'm hoping it's gonna be better. I guess we'll have to wait and see once I get the video uploaded. But I'm trying, um, I'm trying to work out a new microphone here. So I've got one on here, and we'll see if it's going to work. So I'm just going to paint something super simple. Like, it will be so simple. And I'm turned away from the mic now, so I'm hoping it's still good enough to be able to hear. I want to put a little, little bit of color up here. This is just, uh, this is a black. I forget which black I'm using. I'm just going to throw in a little bit of color up in here. And again, sorry, my hand's kind of in the way there when I'm doing that, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Just kind of, it's going to be like the ugliest painting that I could possibly do and upload to my YouTube channel. But I'm going to do it just to try this microphone out. And if it doesn't work, then we'll know. And we know we got to keep, we got to keep looking. we got to keep moving. Keep doing better, right? That's always the goal on everything. Alright, so put a little black up there. I'm probably going to put more. But I only paused the video a second so I could go grab something. Look here. Never open. This is probably from, goodness, I'd say at least the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. Let's crack it up here and use it. Got plenty of them that I've collected over the last little bit. All natural bristles. There's none of that synthetic stuff in here, it doesn't look like. Very soft. Very soft. And you get that old guy on there. That's always good. Yeah. I should have done this first and I didn't. But it'll work out fine. I want a little bit of yellow in here too. You're like, oh my god, it's the worst painting ever. Actually, I kind of like mixing it in with the black. I'm going to put the black back over it. So. It's awful bright. I don't want much. I'm honestly thinking in my head that this painting is not going to turn out good painting what I'm hoping is to show you that I'm trying to get a better microphone because I think this one would do really well let's leave it right there when I say really well what I mean is better than what I had so I've got an idea of a little almost I wanted to do this one on Christmas Eve I just didn't get time got a lot of things going on Almost a little Christmas tree or something, but no lights. Maybe the one that'll be cut down next year. Headed on its way to New York. Who knows? But just throw in some color up here. And I'm being loose. Don't get in the habit of thinking you've got to do exactly what Bob did. X strokes. Throw some different strokes up there. Throw it on there. Smack the brush sometimes. There's one episode I really, I don't care for the episode as much as I do some that Bob did, but he literally just kind of smacked the brush up there on the canvas, and that was fun. Have fun with it. It's supposed to be fun. If you're so mechanical about every little thing, it, it takes away from it. And, and myself, I have to remind myself of that, too. There. I just wanted a little warm, a little bit of warmth in the sky. They want it all to be white because it's going to be snow. No, for you can already see I'm painting that, right? So, super simple, quick painting. I'm going to use an oval brush here. Grab one of these here. I had a couple here. I'm trying to figure out which one I like the best. This one will do. This one right here. Unless, I'll tell you what, we could do that. We could do that. I think you're a little blue. 
blue, we have a little phthalo blue. Maybe phthalo, Prussian, either one will work. No, I'm not going to do it. Change my mind. Alright, I'm going to load up a brush here. I'm going to chisel this, this filbert. Shoot. Filbert. I'm going to chisel this oval brush. Which, an oval brush is essentially just a big filbert. A super big filbert. My squeaky chair is really squeaking tonight. Stop. What are you doing? Okay. Apologize if there's any inconvenience on these videos, especially this one, since I'm just trying this thing out. I want to make a little tree here. Make it a little nicer than that. Put a little more black in there. The squeaking is not squeaky chair, it's my table. I'm going to have to fix that. I can fix the table. Squeaky chair may be past fixing. I want a big tree, guys. And again, this brush is just super for this. Gets these hanging down things really nice. And I may take that all the way to the top here in just a second. But how big of a tree do we want? We just kind of bounce this brush down because it's it's a filbert essentially. It kind of, when you hit it down, it kind of makes a downward angle, kind of like. Gives you what that old guy on TV would say is those hangy downs. Right? That's probably about as big as I need it to be. Big old tree. Again, we're just testing out this mic tonight. I'm going to raise it though. Raise it off the canvas. I want it to be really big. I'm just putting that top on there again with my fan brush because it's easier. I don't have to worry about chiseling this brush over and over and over and over. And this paint I'm using is, is quite thick. I had to put a drop of paint thinner in it. It's not really wanting to come off the brush onto the canvas. Which won't be good here in a minute when I need to, um, I'll have to see. There we go. Now, see the difference in that? I put a little drop of paint there. I want to let this be a big old wide tree that maybe my squirrel Fernando could live in. I don't have a squirrel, but that's what I'd call it if I had one. Not a very good squirrel name. Very good. I like the name though. So. Oh, a big old, big old, big old tree, right? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine and dandy. There. Yes. Again. Just trying something out here. What I do want to do though. I'm going to break one of, one of the golden rules here. I've got a little yellow on my brush, but I'm still going to use it. I'm grabbing some titanium white. And I should have done this before I got the tree all the way back there, but no, I'll fix it. And, and also, I'm breaking another rule here. Who's heard of green snow? I like, I like breaking rules. If we took a little blue or something, I don't know. Play around with it a minute. Kind of like the yellow in there. I don't like the green, though. Okay. And my brush I use from the liquid white. Just kind of soften this all out right here. Again, I wish I'd done this before. <clears throat> I got too low with the tree. There we go. 
Make it look like it's behind the tree. I don't mind that green. I really don't. Just kind of tint the canvas here real quick. How's that looking? Yeah, that's looking awful. That's exactly what I'm going for is an awful looking painting. Actually, I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. Actually, I'm going to bring that tree down a little bit further. So if we think it's getting really big, we, we're like, how big can we make this old tree? Pretty big. This tree can get really big. Got to set it in the snow there. It, which will be snow, I promise you. But, yeah, let's work on that next. Let's just do the snow next. A little bit of... A little bit there. In the background, it's going to be so far away, you really won't notice too much there. Got some really loose snow here. I don't mind those little streaks. The blues and, and different colors there. Turn my canvas and just tint it. Whatever colors on there, it's a little black, a little blue, a little something. Alright. Trying to think. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to grab a clean oval. Yeah. Open up my nasty jar. Of liquid white. This is where you run into the problems of trees looking odd. I'm gonna put just a touch of blue in the white. Just enough. Could have put a little yellow even. I always make fun don't have blue or yellow snow, but sometimes snow has a yellow tint to it because of this the sun's out now and it's kinda To let there be a lot of snow on this guy. All I need to do is chisel this one. There we go. Heavy, heavy snow. Heavy, heavy snow. It's kind of sitting on that tree. Don't be afraid. I see this a lot of times in the class. Don't be afraid of just letting it snow. Or the highlight, I should say. Sneak out. It doesn't have to just sit right on the stuff. It can it can kind of hang out by itself. It could be a little smaller spot of the tree that's just coming in there. Not getting much green showing through or whatever color your tree is showing through. There. And I'm using a, a liberal amount of liquid white because that's essentially looks like snow, right? Look how good this brush does at highlighting this big tree. Big old chunks of snow. Like I said, this would be a perfect one if I'd done it at Christmas time. If I'd done a Christmas tree. I could put lights on and all kinds of things. And I'm keeping this side a little darker, but there's still a little bit of snow on there. Kind of let that spill over a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And another thing I was going to talk about while I'm sitting here, just kind of putting the snow on, is I really, we're almost to the end of the year. I can't believe almost I'm getting close to 5,000 subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I promise I'll try to up my game a little bit. But I'm trying to figure out why you guys are watching me. It's still mind-boggling to me that you want to watch this old guy paint. I'm not that talented. I think in person I can be funny. I think I can a little bit. My dad was a good teacher and he was funny. Didn't teach painting. But, um, yeah, just kind of trying to still figure things out here for myself. Make sure you guys keep watching these videos. 
and please know I appreciate it. And I'll keep trying to make them and try to make them more and be a little more consistent. But it's still mind boggling to me. Still blows my mind. So thank you, I guess I should say. That's a roundabout way of saying thank you. That's about a bland way of saying thank you. I'm not good at accepting attention. I don't like to call attention to myself. Just kind of put some down there. Yeah, big old tree. And always, if you wanted to, if you find a spot that's just not bright enough for you, just take pure liquid white. Now, make sure that you don't let somebody touch this one. It's going to be wet for days on end. Yeah. But again, before I forget, thank you. Try to do another video maybe this week before the end of the year. I honestly don't mind this green snow even. It's kind of weird, but I'm going to hide a good bit of it here in a second. I always want to kind of think about there'd be a shadow. So if the sunny spot's right there, probably this way. I know it's going to look odd to do this, but I'm going to do this. And just kind of brush it out a little bit. Just have a little darker spot of color right in there. We'll put a little snow in here on, on that green green stuff but that could be still grass right we want one more tree it's time i didn't want to do a long video let's see we're 20 minutes i got plenty of time i hate to take away from that one because it looks so dang good let's just do another one we may not make it as wide i knew i'd like it so much i wouldn't have uh used a 12 to 16 inch canvas and turned it portrait Oh, let's do my little trick here. He'll think it works better than trying to chisel the top of that brush. I'm not going to put this one all the way up. So this one. Eh, right there. But, guess what? This one comes a little further down. Alright. I have two trees. And we'll, we'll... Oh, we better do something before I forget. So I'm going to paint myself into a corner. If I don't watch out. Clean my knife off. And we'll grab some of this clean snow. Cleanish snow. Just kind of put this kind of chunky on here. It's still got a little green in it, I don't care. Green is a fun color. to cut through that one we'll just kind of put it back in here in a minute a little further down the canvas I want it to be a little chunkier a little a little bit nicer oh. it's sitting up on a cliff kind of like that I like snow scenes I have never used green snow though I guess green is the color of nature, so it's okay in my book to use it like this. Let me sneak a little bit, a little bit right up in there. I don't want it to look like. Again, I don't mind it green. I may take a brush and go back over this in a minute. But I'm going to have this on here if I'm going to try to paint this other tree. There's that one. And we got a tree started. We'll grab our other, we'll grab our dirty filberts. Our DF. No, wait, filberts not spelled with Yeah, yeah. Don't ask me to spell them for you. I can paint you a tree sometimes. Spelling? I don't know. I'm just 
just chiseling up this brush. I'm not doing anything fancy. Maybe I keep saying this. I probably say this for a year. Maybe one of these days I'll have my camera on my palette over here. I know folks complain about that sometimes, but it's really not a priority for me, folks. Painting is a priority. Making sure that you can see every step of what I'm doing is not a priority. It's some of the fun of it for me. Is I see people send me their paintings and see if you guessed what I did. What color did he use? Where did he put that? And again, I'm still trying to figure out why you painted along with me. Oh, that's going to be darker, doesn't it? It's going to be dark. I knew I was going to do two. I would have put the big one. And put a little more black in here. I would have had the big one over here. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. This, this, this painting is not destined for the museum. This painting will sit because no one will want to buy it. So it'll be a lonely little painting here. Yeah, those create that hangy down effect. Need to be really dark down to bottom. Let's grab a little black. There we go. Dark evergreen in color. There we go. Just somewhere parked right there. That's just the big tree on the hill there. Okay, we'll grab some of this, some of that, some of this. Now chisel that brush. Chisel this one. Just kind of now let this sit. Yeah, I'm not looking this big. They make it big enough. I am bad. So just use liquid white because it's white. And uh, I have to make sure when I'm teaching classes not to overuse it. I don't want drippy paintings. I'm at the point I know. Look, I mean, look how much paint's in that brush. Right? I mean, it's full of paint. I'm kind of at the point to where I know what it can do. Doesn't mean that folks that haven't painted before should be using it like this. One thing I always see myself do and others, you paint these big snowy trees with a, a bluish color, a dark, dark color that's not green. And trees in nature, this kind of tree is still green. Even with snow on it. One that the the challenge there is you don't want green snow. If you get out of worrying about that, then it's probably best just to kind of use this green snow look. Just kind of let it be. There, big old chunky snow. Oh, almost a little too much there. But still, okay. Alright. Now you know what we gotta do. You know you don't want to. You gotta pull a little bit of this and make a little... I'm gonna have a little path in there. Finish it out. I know that some of it's gonna pull back this way. Come down kind of like this. I wanna make sure and keep some shadows in mind. Are you guys thinking I'm crazy at this point now? Green trees? Green snow? You're green with envy of my green snow. Doubt that. Doubt that. Ooh, there's a yellow in there too. I love this palette knife. It does such nice things. Hey, everybody, Justin. 
Um, always putting green in his. And not paint by Justin. Not that he's not my buddy, it's just different Justin. Hopefully he'll see it. These weird colors are for you, dude. That's looking good. Just taking that knife and just running some snow out of here. Pretty thick too. Almost just plastering it on. I don't want to even see any over there. There we go. Just kind of take the knife and get old trees on a hill. I like putting my trees on a on a hill there. It makes them feel special. Trees should always feel a little special to me. Whether you're painting them or planting them, put them somewhere nice. Give them a good view. I love trees. I think I counted up our Japanese maple collection the other day. It was 36. So you can see I like trees. Trees of all sorts. Conifers now we're getting into. chunky. Now, I see something. And I think just sticking with uh, sticking with the norm here. Actually, I'm going to use the small edge of the knife. I just want to create a little dark area back in here. I'm using green. If you've ever painted along with me, you know I like using Two, three colors. Calling a painting done. That's what I'm going to do here. A little green and black. I throw a little black in here too. I'm just throwing down a little path. Throwing down a little path. Where's my path meandering to? Going out over here maybe. Yeah. Could have put a little stream in here. I say you, I guess I mean me, I don't know. Nobody else here. River's asleep, asleep behind me, but other than that. A little nice little path there. And maybe, maybe. I see something here. Another hill. Oh, that'll work. Just uh, cut that path off a little bit. There's another little area there, and you know what's coming if you've ever seen me paint. Look how careful I'm being tonight, guys. Don't worry about it. Have fun. If green's your favorite color, that's the only color you need to use. Be yourself on these things. I mean, why are any of us painting? I see so many people starting to say, I want to teach classes. And if that's the only reason you're painting, it's probably not going to work out for you. The main reason I started painting was to get over the loss of my dog, Petunia. It really helped. I love Bob, but I grew up watching Bob, but really. Painted because I was in pain. It helps. It helps. Everybody needs a little hobby. Everybody needs a distraction. I'm going to darken that a little bit. So use it as that. Don't worry about it if you're making money from it. There's plenty of starving artists out there. Let them be starving and you, you just have fun. I want to throw just a little snow occasionally on that path. I don't want to lose... I don't want to lose the dark. Actually, I'm going to lose it, so I'm going to leave it. This paint's too uh, thin. But yeah, yeah. Shoot, I might want to put a little green hint there. Who knows? Somewhere here, I have a script liner brush. You knew it was coming. I mean, if you know me, I like stick trees. 
And I've got two trees. I need another one. I need them. And I also can do this. Sometimes these old trees will have little things hanging out of them that you might see. You can get crazy with this. Sometimes I do a little too much. Something like that. I'm going to do the other one. I don't like the way that looks. So be warned. I didn't like it. Don't expect anybody paying along to this one. Again, I'm just hoping. I've got hope that this microphone will, will be a good addition to things. Big old stick tree here. Oh, there, there it goes. There it goes. Goes up into that tree. You know me, I'll get on a roll here with these stick trees. Probably put 10. Remember that rule. The bottom of the tree has to be a little thicker than the top. Or. Probably won't last very long. A little something there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it come in here. There, I like that better. Put a little foot on it. Put a little snow around it even. There gives me three trees. Now, artistically, I feel much more satisfied, right? Do tree. All right. Come up with a color here. And sign this baby. And trying to keep my signature a little smaller. There's that. Anything else? Anything else before I finish this video? Yeah, I don't like seeing the feet. I want that to be covered. It's like thick snow. Look at Alright. Well, for being such odd colors, let's back up here a little bit. For being such odd colors, I don't mind it. Let's get you a straight on view. I'm sorry it took a little longer than I anticipated. Well, that doesn't look half bad. Even if it looks half weird, it doesn't look half bad. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your support. Again, my goal was to do more of these, but, you know, life always interferes with goals sometimes. So, I'll do as many as I can, and I hope you guys keep watching, keep sharing the videos. And I may see you again before the New Year's, but if not, Happy New Year's. Everybody stay safe, be safe, stay well, and be kind to each other. See you guys down the road.